Good day to you all. I am Dr. Yasser Osman and I'm going to talk about intravenous anesthetics. Intravenous anesthetics is a group of drug that is used for induction of anesthesia. In smaller doses, it may be used for sedation and it may be also used for what is called total intravenous anesthesia. What is pharmacokinetics? Pharmacokinetics is how the body affects a drug from the route of administration, absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion, while pharmacodynamics is how the drug affects the body, both benefit and the side effects. First example that we are going to talk about is thiopental or thiopentone sodium. Thiopental sodium is an ultra short acting barbiturate. Preparation it is supplied in vials half gram and one gram which are made up into a solution of a concentration 2.5% by injecting appropriate saline into the vial. The solution has a pH of 10.8, which is alkaline, which is very irritant if injected extravenously. Thus, it should be given strictly intravenously. Mechanism of action. It depresses the reticular activating system. The pharmacokinetics Induction dose of thiopental is 3 to 5 mg per kg. It has a short duration of action from 5 to 10 minutes following IV bolus, which reflects the high solubility of the drug, lipid solubility of the drug. Recovery is associated with residual sedation, which is called hangover effect. Therefore, it is not ideal for outpatient anesthesia. It is not suitable for total intravenous anesthesia due to its cumulative effect. Thiopental is metabolized in the liver. What about the pharmacodynamics? Its cardiovascular effect causes decrease in the blood pressure because it causes peripheral vasodilatation, but it causes tachycardia. Respiration. Depress the medullary ventilatory center and decrease the ventilatory response to hypercapnia and hypoxia. May cause laryngospasm and hiccup. Cerebral barbiturate constant uh, and uh, constrict the cerebral vasculature decreasing cerebral blood flow and intracranial pressure. Also barbiturate causes a decline in cerebral oxygen consumption and slowing the EEG. This effect may prove some brain protection from transient episodes of focal ischemia, example cerebral embolism. Renal effect, it decreases the renal blood flow and the glomerular filtration rate. Hepatic, the hepatic blood flow is also increased. Indication of thiopental. Anesthetic use, the, the most common use of thiopental is induction of general anesthesia. It is used also as a sole anesthetic in short, in short procedures, example, abscess. Sedation during local or regional anesthesia. Other uses as an anticonvulsant drug for status epilepticus. In the treatment during electroconvulsive therapy and as brain protective drug due to its neuroprotective properties. Contraindications. Shocked and hypovolemic patient. When the patient airway or ventilation cannot be guaranteed following induction. In acute asthma because it causes bronchospasm. 
fixed card that output state example card that tamponade hypersensitivity to other barbiturates it is ab absolutely contraindicated in porphyria porphyria is an inborn error of porphyrin metabolism paralysis and even fatal attack of porphyria can occur if thiopentone is given to the patient with porphyria complications of thiopentone general complication example hypotension respiratory depression that may require assisted ventilation increased incidence of bronchospasm especially in asthmatic patients at light anesthesia laryngospasm may occur due uh, to surgical stimulus anaphylactoid reaction but this is very rare and in porphyria it can cause acute crisis and fatal outcome local complications extravasation can cause pain edema erythema up to extensive tissue necrosis thrombophlebitis is due to chemical irritation of the vein wall and intra-arterial injection if that happened in an accident way intra-arterial injection if for unfortunate reasons we injected the thiopentel in the artery the most serious complication of thiopentel will occur it will cause severe arterial spasm that may result in ischemic necrosis of tissue supplied by the artery up to gangrene these are due to spasm and intravascular thrombosis immediate and severe pain will start from the site of injection then white hand with cyanosed fingers and skin discoloration will be evident arterial pulse may disappear in the affected artery management of accidental intra-arterial injection of thiopentone the needle or the cannula should always be left in place this is a rule that we should never forget why because we are going to give the drugs in that cannula if we remove that cannula we will not be able to locate the artery again because this artery will go into spasm the treatment which will include dilute the drug by injecting fluid in that cannula relieve the pain by xylocaine injected to the same artery relieve the spasm by papaverin also injected in the same artery or perform stylic ganglion or brachial plexus block to remove all vasoconstrictor impulses prevent thrombosis by heparin IV or in the same artery what about propofol which is another example of intravenous anesthetic propofol it is a highly lipid soluble drug very rapid onset 15 seconds and has short duration of action that ranges from 5 to 10 minutes recovery is very rapid and complete without hangover elimination occurs primarily through hepatic metabolism to inactive metabolites dose 1.5 to 2.5 milligram per kg it do not accumulate in the body so can be used in total intravenous anesthesia pharmacodynamics cardiovascular effect decreases in the arterial blood pressure second to a drop in systemic vascular resistance contractility and preload so hypotension is more pronounced than with thiopental respiratory cause profound respiratory depression 
may cause apnea, which is called propofol apnea. Propofol depress the upper airway reflexes on the cerebral, decreased cerebral blood flow and intracranial pressure. It also has some anti-emetic, antipyretic, and anti-convulsive properties. It also decreases the renal and hepatic blood flow. Side effects. It causes venous irritation, pain on injection, which can be reduced by injection into a big vein and by xylocaine, 20 mg, mixed with the drugs or immediately before it. Venous thrombosis and phlebitis. It's a rare complication. Respiratory depression and apnea. That is very common, especially if we inject the propofol rapidly. Hypotension also is very common and also is much more when we inject the drug rapidly. Very low incidence of anaphylaxis and what we call propofol infusion syndrome, which happens in the ICU when we uh, infuse the propofol for pediatric patients. So this is why we do not use propofol as a sedative infusion for pediatric patients in the ICU. Main uses. As a sole anesthetic in short procedure and outpatient anesthesia. Induction of general anesthesia. Total intravenous anesthesia. Induction. Agent of choice if insertion of a laryngeal mask airway is intended because it depress the airway reflexes. Sedation and electroconvulsive therapy. In small dose, 10 to 20 milligram, to treat nausea and vomiting in early post-operative period. May be considered the drug of choice in patients susceptible to malignant hyperthermia by giving them Tiva and Porphyria. Note that Propofol is an ideal agent for outpatient anesthesia, Tiva, and in ICU because it is cleared rapidly by the liver, rapid complete recovery, there is no hangover, and have no cumulative effect. Another example that we are going to talk about is ketamine. Ketamine or catalar, mechanism of its action, it produces dissociative anesthesia. This is very important, characterized by catalepsy, sedation, amnesia, and analgesia. Pharmacokinetics. Metabolize into the liver to multiple metabolites, has no cumulative effect. The dose is 1 to 2 mg per kg IV and can be given intramuscular as well in a dose of 5 to 10 mg per kg. Pharmacodynamics Cardiovascular, increase arterial blood pressure, heart rate and cardiac output. This is the only intravenous anesthetic that do this. Respiratory system, it has a minimal effect on ventilation, but ketamine is a potent bronchodilator. Cerebral, increase the cerebral oxygen consumption and cerebral blood flow and intracranial pressure. It's a very potent analgesic. It retains the reflexes of the larynx and the eyelash. Muscle tone increase and may be involuntary movement present when injecting the ketamine. Maintain patient airway patent without assistant. Increase salivation and nausea and vomiting may occur. Recovery is slow and associated with bad dreams and hallucinations. I, 
it can cause nystagmus diplopia and increase intraocular pressure. Indications. Due to its strong analgesic effect, it is very useful in some procedure, example, burn dressing. It can be given I am root, thus very useful in children because some children will refuse uh, the insertion of an IV cannula. Due to its circulatory effect, it is useful in, as induction agent for hypovolemic shock patient. Due to the preservation of muscle tone, laryngeal reflexes, and respiratory activity, it is useful in outpatient anesthesia as the site of accident, for example, trauma patient. Due to its strong bronchodilator effect, it can be used in case of status asthmaticus in ICU. Ketamine has been used safely in porphyry. Ketamine is not suitable for adults because it causes dreams and hallucination, hypertension and ischemic heart disease patient, cerebrovascular disease as aneurysm because it increases the intracranial tension and increases the cerebral blood flow. In the presence of raised intracranial pressure, psychological ill patient as schizophrenia, open eye injury. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this lecture.